Hello, it's Randy Dak and welcome back for another video. This time I've got two replays for you in the brand new Japanese premium heavy tank, the Orochi Oni, which has just come out today. Um, I've got two replays for you in it um, and I'm just going to sort of roughly go over uh, the tank and, you know, do I like it, etc. Um, and what I think of it. Um, if you want a sort of detailed description of all the stats, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link, uh, link Petty 360s video in my channel as well because um, they'll probably go over in sort of bigger details, all the different sort of soft stats, etc. Uh, but if you just want to see some replays of the um, the gun and the, the tank and see how it handles, hope, you know, hopefully I'll be able to illustrate that in these two videos. So the first video I've got is using a 10mm uh, gun. Uh, which basically has 330 alpha and really good DPM. Um, and the second gun is the one which I'm going to consider. If you're going to buy this tank, you want to use that gun, um, really. Um, and that's the derp gun, the 15mm derp gun, which is all about the memes. And that's kind of what this tank is for me. It's basically the tier 7 um, Japanese tech tree tank, but super buffed up to a tier 8 version. Um, so they basically have increased the armor. Um, it's, you know, they buffed the front armor, they buffed all, uh, all the turret armor, um, and it, it is good. The armor is really good until someone starts firing the premium rounds. And the second they start doing that, they're going to go straight through you and not worry, and the armor is going to count for nothing. Um, but that's pretty much the same for all the Japanese heavies. Um, I mean, for me, I've never actually played that line yet, so I was quite excited about playing this tank. Um, and I've really enjoyed playing the derp gun. The derp gun is very, very fun. Um, but before we get there, we've got the first replay, which is also on proc, uh, which really isn't a, probably a good map for this tank. Um, but we go on to have a good game. Um, and this time we're using the 10 uh, millimeter gun. So I'll stop rambling, let's get on with the replay and we can see how we do. Okay, so right, here we are on proc. Uh, we are actually top tier which is really, really nice. Um, but we do have one fun place to contend with. And naturally being on proc with RT in a big slow tank can be a nuisance, can't it? Um, but we're gonna play aggressively and we're actually gonna go on to be the super scout in this game. Um, and we're gonna push up to see what we you know can do because I'm not gonna sit at the back sniping uh, in my heavy, regardless of the fact I get a shot by RT, I think I'm just going to go for the approach of hope for the best. Uh, hopefully, RT doesn't kill us. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, just in the intro about this tank, it does have the multi gun um, uh, use. So you've got actually got the two sort of weak spots, the two um, boobies, if you like, at the front of the tank. Uh, they're actually guns, and they're two individual guns, left and right, um, and you can change both of them. And they're really good if you're firing uh, really lightly armoured tanks like Borsigs and stuff like that. Um, and that, and it's really good for that boost of the damage. You can swap by your reloading to get that extra little bit of damage. Or what I like to do, use them for is to keep things permo-tracked. So you can keep them permo-tracked and then you wait till your big shot comes out and you hit them with, the, um, with your big gun. Uh, so yeah, so here we are on proc. Like I say, we're using the small gun. I mean, for me... This tank, I feel like you know you're slow. You do have good armor against tier eights, um, and you can block a lot of damage if you're not firing premium. Here's the arse hit of a code for us there, but I just think you're a big slow heavy tank. It's not that fun using this gun. Although this gun's probably the, I would say the best gun. Like technically, it's got really good DPM, 330 alpha, and it's probably the easiest gun to use. To derp is a lot more fun. I mean, for me anyway, I think if you basically you're not going to enjoy this tank if you don't. I I don't think you enjoy this tank in my opinion if if you don't like the derp. Um, if you enjoy the derp and you enjoy the memes, then it's a well worth tank. Um, it's definitely not a big OP tank, but if you enjoy the memes, it's a lot of fun. Uh, but you can see here we're on proc. We are actually getting constantly shot by this fun police. 
Um, the good thing is with the new tracers now, he can see where he is. I do know where he is, but there's not much I can do about him. I'm basically just poking up, and you can see my whole team's down the 1-2 line, and I'm pretty much their vision. I'm the only person spotting at the moment. So I'm having to poke up quite high. Um, I am blocking a little bit of damage, but I'm, I'm getting the rewards, if you like, because I've got 3k assistance now, uh, because there is no one else left to spot. Um, I have lost a lot of health on this artillery so i kind of want my team to to push down the one two to sort of benefit and yeah so i can then push up and not be the only focus on the artillery if they push down the one two now the game's won um and we need to make sure we do that but they don't seem to be happening so i'm going to go back up to try and do the another little spot again um and see what we can do i mean like i say this is not the ideal map for this tank fortunately we are bottom we are top tier um, if I was tier 10, then I would just be dead doing this almost. Maybe then I would have to play a little bit uh, less aggressive. But, you know, being a tier 8 game, we're going to do what we can do. Uh, one 4,600 assistance to show our 2k damage. And the game is almost done. It is a small game, but to be honest, it's a short game. But I really wanted to just... I wanted to illustrate both guns. Um, but I mainly wanted to get the replay of the, of, with the derp gun, which is the next one. Here's the artillery. We're hoping for a bit of revenge. He actually does get shot down by a friendly uh, Brumbar there, by the looks of it. There's three tanks left. I'm pushing to try and maximise my assistance, because you can see I've had like a big assistance game, really. I'm on 5,000 assistance, which is not bad for a super heavy. Um, and yes, yeah, so it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, we're going to try and get a nice shot in there. This gun can rack up the damage really quickly because uh, it's got 330 alpha and I think it's like um, a six something point seconds reload. So it is really good. Like I say, it's probably the the, the, the best gun, uh, but not the most fun gun. Uh, so that brings us into the first replay. That like, was a quick little replay, but then we get to go on to the main replay in a minute using the dirt, which is what it's all about. Uh, you see we've got four kills, 2,500 damage, just shy of 5,000 assistance, uh, ace tanker, and yeah, that's it for the first one on proc, um, and bear with us, and we'll see you in a bit for the second replay. Okay, let's go. So on the second replay, El Haloof, we are this time, we're actually bottomed here, um, which is not ideal. But we are using the uh, the derp gun, uh, and the derp gun, I basically find full HE um, for the memes, and it's a lot, a lot of fun. It's got 910 alpha and 75 penetration. So, yeah, those lightly armoured tanks, um, you can do a lot of damage to them. Like, if you hit them vanguards, you one-shot them, and that's just hilarious. Um, you do... Um, Right here, by the way, I'm just taking random blind shots because you never know. Sometimes you do get a, a cheeky shot, a cheeky bit of damage, just blind as they cross. So it's always worth worth a punt anyway, just to take those little shots. Um, but the, the beauty of this derp is just, you're always doing damage. You don't have to aim. You just want to shoot for the weaker armour parts of the tank. So as long as you know like where the weaker spots are, like you know, generally shooting like the capola areas, stuff like that, underneath the, the, the tanks, just to maximise your damage and you, you just your splash damage, really. So we are pushing around to sort of the heavy flank. We have a lot of support. We don't have a lot of tanks going into the main ridge to the right. So that is a little bit of a concern if they do push right down. But I can't go up there. I have no gun depression whatsoever. So my best bet is sort of staying around in this sort of location and hoping, you know, I've got a lot of Death Stars, a lot of TDs with me. Maybe if I can shoot someone's tracks off, I might pick up a bit of tracking assistance. But I'm just looking to see if I can get any early uh, damage onto this 1-2-1. One, one. I'm looking for a shot. I don't really want to eat any shots in, you know, if I have to. But I'm a bit concerned about that uh, Death Star, um, that shit bar. But you just see there, I actually slapped him for 869 alpha. Um, and that is hilarious when that happens. Unfortunately, the fun police decided to half health me and shoot the tier 8 tank, uh, but that's just it's where it is, isn't it? Um, but we're in a situation now where we've got tanks coming behind us. I'm trying to shoot the tracks off of this guy because I was hoping maybe the Death Star would shoot him. Uh, but it looks like he has shot him and he's, he's now put him on a one shot. 
I don't really want to eat any more damage at this stage if I don't have to. Um, but I'm a little bit concerned that I've got tanks on the right and tanks behind me. So I swap to the mini map so I can see what's going you know, on so I can react. Um, I'm trying to use this little bit of wall to protect, keep myself safe from the tanks behind me. They have got a Death Star sort of hard aim in there. So hopefully that's going to hold them back for a little bit. I'm just going to try and go for the track shots. Now what I probably should be doing here is swapping to the small um, mini gun the trap and keeping them permo tracked. But I... To be honest, I just forgot to do it, if I'm honest. It, um, it, it's, it's new to me. I've not played any tanks with the, with the new weapon system on, so it's probably going to be a little bit of time adjusting. Um, you can see the little guns at you know, the front of this tank moving around, so it's quite funny. Um, I do quite like the little, um, you know, having the two different guns at the front is quite amusing. Um, I'm trying to turn around here now to try and get front on. Uh, to keep my armour safe. I've got a medium sort of pushing the mid ridge, so I'm hoping that's going to at least give me a bit of information if they do come that way. Um, and I'm trying to, I can see that this Death Star is probably going to die, um, so I'm thinking that when he does die, um, because there's not much I can do to save him, I'll be able to use his wreck uh, to protect, to, you know, to, to maximise the armour, because I'm hiding the two little weak points. So basically, the guns in front, they're weak points on this tank. So you want to try and hide them where you can. So I'm trying to use the Death Star um, as a little bit of cover. You know, if they come around this corner, I'm going to drive into that Death Star to hide those weak spots or at least make it difficult for the enemy to get shots in. Um, you see, I've had a decent start to this game. I've got 1,300 tracking assistance, 2,600, uh, sorry, 2,300 damage. But this game is definitely not won. Um, I was really hoping the enemy would actually come round um, so I could get shots in. I don't want to have to try and push two tanks. If they get around the side of me, like I say, or, you know, the tier 10's tanks, you know, they're just going to fire heat. They're going to go straight through me like butter. Uh, but this medium's got them detracted, so I'm hoping maybe I can poke around and get a cheeky shot in. Uh, looking for the shot on the chisel, but I can't quite get the shot in. I probably should have... You know, pull this. I went for the shot. Uh, oh no, did I go for the shot? No, maybe I should have done. I, that was a poor shot, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, he just got shot straight with the premium round straight through the side of my turret there. Um, like I say, when you're firing against you know tanks using the premium rounds, uh, especially tier 10 tanks, the armor goes really good uh, to butter. Because against tier 8 tanks, you know, you can bounce a lot of tanks off at damage. I have had a lot of um, high bounce games in this this tank. Uh, but the second you start finding the premium tanks, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, this situation, I want my tanks behind me to move up and take that ridge to the right. Because obviously I can't watch both sides. If someone goes around the side of me now, uh, I'm going to die. So as this TD is pushing this side, I'm actually going to push round. Because I, still, I know that chisel's still alive. I don't want him to come behind us. So that, that's what I'm concerned about at the moment. Um, is that I'm trying to keep both... Uh, sides protected you see so I'm clicking there to hope that, that that heavy tank would go that way because I don't really want to have to go this way because, just because I don't have any gun depression in this tank so it's not ideal um, but I do have uh, like a, an artillery if I can maybe light them up I might be able to get him in the game a little bit more he might be able to get some shots on them if they're in the middle here um, but I don't want to get snuck up on um, so because like I say this game is, is clutch at the moment it's 5-5 five, five. But I have the support. I, I'm I'm pretty sure the enemy team is probably retreated a little bit. Um, so I've got to be, yeah. I, I don't know if they've run back to the base to just sort of defend the base, or you know, I know there's that chisel, uh, and the chisel is what I'm concerned about. Uh, but I've got the support of my team now. Um, I'm moving in, and I think at this point, yeah, the chisel gets spotted. And to be honest, I'm thinking I'm dead now. I sh realistically. I probably should die in this situation because the chisel should be able to come down and kill me. He goes, put one in, I fluffed my shot. Now I'm thinking the worst, I'm thinking I'm dead. I'm going to do my best to try and angle my armour and he actually bounces that shot and now what he should do is stop but he's actually driven straight in front of me and giving me the rear of his tank. Um, I think he's also probably trying to escape that TD um, and then that, that's the beauty of the derp. Um, I got a bit lucky there. Then I got the rear of his tank, thanks for that, and I just one-bombed him. So, 
yeah, that, that it's just memes, isn't it? You know, when you get those shots, it just makes it so fun. Uh, but it's still it's still a clutch game. Like I say, it's a bottom tier game, um, and now I have fifty four hit points. I should have died, but I didn't. I'm still in the game. Um, so you know, we've got fifty four hit points in a dream. Uh, we've got bang on three thousand damage. Uh, we've got a bit of assistance, sort of one thousand uh, two hundred blocked. Um, I can't really go across the quick way there because if I get caught in the open, I'm definitely dead now. Um, so I need to try and push round and see if we can get a shot into. I think both the I can't remember what's left. I think there's a charioteer left. Uh, well, there's only a charioteer left, which we can definitely pen um, with the he. If we get shot, we we'll probably go straight through his turret. Um, if I'm honest, if we get shot into his turret, we should be able to full pen this guy. And he's full health, so I'm really hoping. I've got a dream. Um, I want that shot. Um, I'm on 3,000 damage, but if I could get a full pen and put me close to 4k, uh, being the bottom tier, it would be you know, quite, a, quite a decent game. Um, so I'll just that that's, that's the plan. It's more, to be honest, if he gets caught out by this G-Saw 1008, he's going to get clipped out. Um, so I, I'm not too sure. I haven't got a good feeling about me getting this in. I tried to go for the cheeky shot there. It would have been hilarious. Could probably would have set him on fire if I'd have hit the back of his engine there. Um, I'm just hoping that I can get a shot in before our, uh, our fun police gets a shot into him. Um, or he gets taken out by our friendly tanks. I mean, fortunately for me, both of these other tanks in front of me aren't super quick. So they're not getting that far ahead of me. Um, I'm thinking that my, my best bit is probably to um, get to a position so if, if the charioteer over peaks the ridge to shoot our teammates, maybe then I'll be able to get my shot in. Because if I get caught out in the open, I mean, he could just use the Hesh round, so he doesn't even have to pen me. Um, you know, I'm on 54 hit points. He's going to be able to kill me. If he just uses his Hesh rounds, shoots into my weak spot area, um, I'll die regardless if he pens me or not. Uh, so we go for the shot here, we're thinking this was it, we hoped, we went for the snapshot, um, but it didn't quite land, uh, and I'm thinking, oh, that's probably my opportunity gone, I'm using this cover, but he's going to try and finish off the one shot heavy, so we go for a shot into a turret, and we actually slap him there for, I think, over 800 damage, 870 damage, uh, and that's actually a low roll before the pen, um, but yeah, a nice way to finish that game. Um, and this shows you, you know, a little bit of the fun. It's, for me, this tank is, if you if you want a bit of memeing with the derp, and you don't want to take it too seriously, um, you have a fun time. So that's my opinion on it anyway. Um, is it worth the gold? I say it's, it's only worth the gold if you like those memey derp tanks. If you don't like that type of play style, it's probably not really worth it. But if you do, you know, it's a good tank. And it looks really cool, like visually. I really like the look of it. So yeah, that's that's the replay, um, and as always, happy tanking. Enemy in sight. Hadouken!